This has been here since Monday. It is now Thursday, but the joys of working 12 hour night shifts means I'm only getting around to opening it in an hour. And I can't tell you how excited I am. Hi guys, and welcome to a brand new, very, very, very special episode of The Rift Effect. First, brand new look, new intro video. I've got a few of them to test out. Hopefully you guys will like them. So we'll get them tested out. I've also got a new setup. Some work's been going on in the man cave. New LED system, new glass cabinets. It's all very nice. So I'm pretty happy with how that's all gone on. And now, thankfully, if you've been following my Instagram, you'll know I have been waiting on this parcel turning up. And it's finally here. So a little history on what it is. Basically, after lockdown, it was fast approaching my birthday in August. I decided I wanted something special and something that was going to stand out and be a signature piece here in the man cave. As I was looking around the internet, I eventually went on to Cosplay Chris's Etsy page. Now, if you don't know who Cosplay Chris is, he is one of the best cosplayers in the world. Huge Batman fan, huge Fred head, that's how he got started in all this. And I just, he's a massive inspiration for this, for what I do. He, I went through and started watching him back when he did his Infinity War cap. It got me into doing my Infinity War cap. And then I started watching all his other videos and it just inspired me to try and do what I'm doing now. So firstly, Chris, if you're watching, mate, thank you very, very much for this. Um, for just being the inspiration and the great guy that you are. So as I say, I went on his Etsy page and at that time he was selling resin busts of Freddy Krueger. Now these were blanks, not painted. So I contacted Chris and told him I was really interested and wanted one for my birthday. But I knew I couldn't do it justice. So I asked if he could paint it, come up with a display stand for it. And it was just, he was just more than accommodating. What I didn't know at the time, and it wasn't until Chris did an Instagram post as he was working on it, that this is actually going to be the last, re it was the last resin bust from this cast. The mould was very old, very brittle and just was falling apart, but he managed to get the last mould out of it for me for my birthday. So I feel very privileged that I've got this last of a mold off this cast and um just can't thank Chris enough especially with all his updates keeping me posted on what was going on consulting me on the base and how to proceed with it and how he thought it should look to compare it to how I want it to look he was brilliant so thanks very much Chris really really appreciate that and when I explained I wanted it for my birthday he did everything in his power to try and get it here unfortunately due to Covid commissions that he already had in the works and waiting on shippings for the eyes for the bust it just didn't happen so as I say I only got this on Monday and it's now time to open it because of night shift I've been walking past it for days and ah anyway so without further ado let's get into it trustly Stanley knife oh god I'm actually shaking Actually shaking. I'm so excited for this. I mean, because I'm shaking so much, I think, and I'm so excited, I think I'm being so gentle with this tape and not cutting it properly. Anyway, we're in. We're in. So far, all I can see is bubble wrap, so we're doing well so far. Oh, it's well packaged. Lots of packaging. Oh, I can see the bust. I can see the bust, guys. Here it is. Here's the bust. Oops. 
so excited for this. I'm actually, guys, I'm actually shaking. This is how excited I am. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, guys. I'm hoping the camera picks up all this detail. Just amazing. He is stunning. The paint job that Chris has done. It's got, um, I don't know if I can pick it up on the camera. It's got his uh, Horror FX uh, Productions logo there um, that Chris does. Oh, ha! I've only just noticed. Chris has actually written on the, ears, on the inside, Dear Paul, happy birthday, all the Chris, all, all the best. And you know, if you can see it in. Oh, that is just. Oh, right. Okay, let's lay him back in. I, I think I'm going to have to take a moment, guys, in a second. I just want to see if we can find the base and the eyes. Oh. So good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, here's the base. Oh wow. Oh, it's perfect. Wow, wow. So Chris did a half cast Freddy mask on display on copper, some copper pipe years ago. Um, and I told him that I wanted something reminiscent that wouldn't take away from the bust. And he's come up with this beautiful, beautiful design, which also has a lovely, beautiful plaque on there with the copper pipe in, as if he's coming from the boiler room, basically. Now, there should be a post that goes on here. I'll have to look in the box in a sec. It um, goes on there, and the bus will sit on top beautifully. Um, let's have a look. Oh, it's just beautiful. He's just beautiful, guys. I'm just gonna put him down on there just now. Let's just see. Everything else is. Oh, there's the post. A little slot in the base. So, just I can't get over the quality of this. It's just stunning. Chris puts a lot of effort in. He's really, really good. And when I, he was sending me progress photos, guys, and the stuff. Every progress photo, I was just blown away and amazed. Oh, the stand's actually made out of the copper pipe as well. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't realise that. It's just got a nice rubber stopper on it, but it's um, to hold the, the bust. But it's got a nice copper weathered boiler room effect, and that should just slot in there. Yep, there we go. So that's now the base with the post, and we'll just get Freddy up off the packaging, and we'll just, just put him on so you get a rough idea of how he's going to look, guys. Admittedly, this is without the eyes at the moment. But look at just how good that looks. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to fix him, fix him up, and as I say, I've still got to locate the eyes. So let's look for the eyes. Show you the quality of the eyes and then I'll get them on the turntable and display properly and show you guys what it looks like. So the only thing I have to find is his eyes, which I can't seem to find. Oh, they were in the rubber, they were in the bubble wrap. Oh my god, panic over guys, panic over. Terrified then that I'd lost them. Chris, sorry mate. <laughs> I'm trying to be so careful guys because I don't want to damage anything. Oh. Sorry if I'm off camera. Oh wow. I can't remember right now the name of the company that Chris got the eyes made with from. But wow. Wow. Now these are just going to be fixed in with blue tack. Um, Chris has even sent the blue tack. He didn't have to, but he did. And you can just see the detail in these eyes are just stunning. 
Um, I can't remember right now off the top of my head which company he said he got these made from. It was a company in the States. We had to wait for shipping, that's why part of the reason the bus was delayed. Um, but he sent a blue tack so that I can fix them anyway and have Freddy looking any way I want. So, Chris, mate, just, just amazing. I, this is just perfect, mate, and honestly, okay, I'm going to have to go and uh, get him set up on a display stand. I'll get some close-up footage for you guys and you can see exactly how he looks it's just beautiful I, I really can't thank chris enough um the fact that i had a little message on it the base everything's just oh he signed the base as well it's just this is going to be actually going where the pool is currently he's already set, it's all decided that that's where he's going um, so he'll be pride of place in every photo, every video I do from now on. So, guys, honestly, if you haven't checked out Cosplay Chris's work, please head over to his YouTube. I'll put links in the description below. I'll even put links to his Instagram. And Chris, honestly, mate, thank you so, so much for this. He is exactly what I was looking for, exactly what I wanted, and he's just stunning. Just wow. With that, geeks, thanks for watching. Please put some comments down below, give a like, give a subscribe, and as always, guys, geek out.